Or maybe we do actually. Hi, welcome. Please come in. How can I help? An emergency laptop cleaning. Um, okay, let me. I don't think we have anybody free, but give me a few minutes and I'll check. Um, Matt, can you uh, look after the customer? One sec. Thanks. Just give me a moment. Oh, don't worry, he'll be back in just a few minutes. Right, just take a seat. This? This is Raid Shadow Legends. It's one of those games that's like super chill to play. Just if you have five, ten minutes free, or you're waiting for something, or maybe you're on the train or the bus. It's one of these things you can just play for a little while. Do some raids, earn some new champions, and chill. I think it's played by more than 80 million people worldwide. It's a tactical RPG, essentially. And you have a group of heroes, or a group of champions, and you go through raids, you can play arena against other players, there's more than 650 different champions. It has console level graphics, really stylized graphics. The heroes, champions, look magnificent. My favorite, Judge, for sure. Look at him, badass. He has an aura that raises my team's defense's accuracy. So when they're striking debuffs, there's a higher chance to land. He also has this one skill called Blade Dance. It strikes everyone all at once. And he looks amazing, right? For sure. The game is actually running an event based on St. Valentine right now. So if you head over to raidlovequest.plarium.com you get to play one of the many thing Valentine's games where you can earn some cool stuff. Stuff that includes Amazon gift cards worth up to a thousand dollars and also some Valentine's Day themed raid champions. Even existing raid players get some love too. You'll be entitled to a free Valentine's Day gift in game. In fact, if you scan the QR code or click the link you'll get a free starter pack. And it doesn't love free stuff, right? And if the Valentine event isn't for you, there's a metric ton of events, games constantly being updated. And you can even earn anniversary points as part of this Titan event ongoing just now. You should check it out. You can play at your own pace. You can play as often or as little as you like. The game is stacked full of content. As I said, you can battle through arena, you can grind the campaign to earn experience and loot for your dudes. You can seek out bosses, fight and join with clans. It's honestly amazing. As I said, it's a chill way to spend some time. And it's nice. Logging up some progression. Give it a look. It's free to play. Listen, I better get back to work. Check it out. I'm sorry about that. He spoke about Raid the whole time, didn't he? Yeah. He's a big fan. He's a, he's a good guy. I have good news. We do actually have a 45 minute slot for you today. You have a laptop with you, I assume that's excellent. Let me have a quick look. Wow. Republic of Gamer. Is this a. This is the GL40G. I used to have one of these. So it's the GL504G. Let me guess, it overheats all the time. Yeah, nice machines, but 
I mean, you can probably see you are using a cooling pad. side vents really quite dusty for a machine that throttles its power by temperature you need to keep these vents quite clean I think it was a 1070 in this machine if I remember right not a terrible card I really will struggle for triple A's now but Nothing hurts this machine more than poor cooling system. So what we'll do, I'll open it up. It won't actually be myself that works on it, but we'll open it up, pop the case, uh, and give it a proper clean. And you'll find the largest improvement to performance will come from cooling on these machines. Um, the SCAR especially, the SCAR version, really um the thermal throttle is what it's called really hurt these machines and we're going to take care of it for you okay you can get it back tomorrow i know if this is the, the machine you're gaming on i know how important that is yeah no worries we can we can have a look at it for you no problem at all so we'll give it a clean it's mostly pressured air and we'll use some non-static brushes to really kind of get into the finer portions the graphics cards on these things have to be kept cool all right uh, and if you're really trying to to get the most out of it um, you might want uh, some aftermarket cooling as well but we can look into that Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if uh, we need to format it, we can do that. But we'll, we'll clean it first and we can give you a call and, uh, and let you know what we find. All right. Yep. The actual laptop, when it was launched, is uh, something of a flagship. You got this free on a train. Interesting uh, in first class. Excellent. Well, if that was a couple of years ago, then it's maybe worth revisiting. So you can get another one. No problem. Yeah, like I said, we'll give you a call tomorrow and let you know pricing and it's just a cleaning it won't take too long i don't expect more than an hour's worth of labor all right yes mm -hmm. i have there's so many games i'm looking forward to honestly so many games this year coming out yeah uh, recently uh, literally before we opened I was playing a game called Papers Please and I'd seen this on Steam and I think it's it's ranked as overwhelmingly positive which is like impossible for a game on Steam and it's very heavily pixelated graphics and I've avoided it because it looked quite dated purposefully but I bought it uh, and my whole family and I were playing it you have to review documentation and passport kind of stuff um, and it gets progressively more detailed and we were assigning like each of us with little tasks to you check the date here you check this you check that you check IDs uh, it's a team effort very very fun actually look into it it's pretty cheap as well actually all right it's fantastic to meet you and we'll take good care of your machine and if if you have a gaming rig at home but this is uh, your laptop. We'll give it all the love. All right. No worries. Thank you. I'll give you a call, okay? All right. Okay. 
I'll get you to the lab and get you cleaned up. Now then. Let's get this Asus ROG cleaned up a little bit. It looks like they were using a cooling pad. It's pretty typical. Of a jewel mid to large size. I think this is the Strix model, if I remember right, running a 1070, and always struggles with cooling. Looks like our owner is missing one of the flathead screws. Today we'll be using variety of brushes, different bristle strand, some soft but with a large surface area, others a bit smaller, a little denser, all of them static And coarser still for getting into parts we need to scrub sometimes. And of course our old faithful air canister, which if anyone was to be watching this and wanted to repeat what they saw, be extra careful with handling these. You hold them upside down, or you blow, expelling air for a little bit too long, it'll turn to ice, and you do not want to be blowing water into your system. Firm little bristle and brush there. For getting into the smallest little corner. And of course, our faithful laptop screw kit. They're very simple. I've been using this for a very long time. Now, let's get to these scratches. removing the dust particles, the staining, we remove with anti-static cloth.
clean that up later. Let's get the lid popped off. screws for these sorts of laptops. always something quite therapeutic by performing maintenance on a laptop. These are the snap. Inside the laptop. And all we'll be doing today is just a little bit of cleaning. Making sure we have maximum flow. If the Reseat the processor. Good. Now, this is also a little bit precarious. Sometimes a flat head. This uh, customer's battery is actually unplugged, so they've been running on main power this entire time. We'll leave it disconnected while we're working. Okay, the graphics card kicked in dust.
iets zinken. instructed just to give this a clean. It's really quite dirty along the edges, so let's um, start off with a broad brush strokes. We don't want to be using the compressed air until all the loose dust has been moved. You can see here the protective strip is worn away. And a lot of this creates debris. They get jammed in your GPU fans throttling. Even the slightest interruption to these laptops airflow can have a drastic impact. I think we'll make a recommendation to the customer to reseat these protective strips. They're decaying to almost nothing. friction, but when they're starting to decay like this, you can see if I was to brush this, it's falling apart. You should avoid blowing too heavily into your laptops, because of course saliva carries in our breath sometimes, but if you're very careful, it's okay. Now I think this needs a little bit of compressed air.
good. to remove the entire heat sink. We've been instructed just to clean it as best we can for just now and report back our findings. Laptops, um, gaming laptops just don't perform anywhere near as well as a desktop or standalone. Primarily because of the constraint on space and the heat flow. Now these heat sinks do wonders, but they're still limited on space and size.
Excellent. Now we'll reconnect the battery. there. just these maximizing that airflow. Good. Now we can re-screw. We 
have a much cleaner looking lid and we can pop this back on screw and because we've flushed compressed air through the graphics card will see a 5 to 11 degree drop in temperature which of course is what can make all the difference and this of course is not a deep clean Hopefully it will inspire a little bit of confidence in our client to return to us for a deep clean. Maybe system or at least uh, reapply the thermal compound to the processor that doesn't really get done often enough remember it's these tiny little screws that pop into each corner section takes the full length screws good And you don't want to over tighten these screws until they're all seated. Just a loose tan tight is fine. And the final, because we were missing one. screw I left off.
the thread on the front section looks like it's failed that's probably why it was empty let me open it up very good And that leaves us with a ventilated vintage gaming laptop. Again, I would recommend to our client to have it deep cleaned, have the heat sink removed. system through thermal throttling. It's extremely important. Now, I'll go and give them a call. Good night.